Okay, welcome back. It is episode two of the Millennium Falcon guitar build. The guitar, or rather the Millennium Falcon, is in bits on the bench at the moment. So in the last episode, you know, I, I took it apart. This is just one of the parts. Um, off camera, I've had it in my kitchen sink and I've scrubbed it with soapy water and I got all the 45 years of grot and dirt off it. So now it's clean. It's a little bit yellow because of age, but it's clean. So the next bit is to figure out how to get a bit of wood inside it that I can bolt a guitar neck and a bridge and a pickup to. So that's what I'm going to do today. I've had a look, I've got a few ideas. So this is the top cover. One of the things, or two of the things inside here that are going to get in the way are these two plastic bits that you would screw the Millennium Falcon together. So I'm going to cut them off with a Dremel down at the bottom. And at least that way it gives me something to kind of work to in terms of height and depth. So I'm going to do that now. So I'll change the camera and I'll have it on my, my overhead camera, which is two cable ties attached to the roof of my shed. So I'll do that now. Okay. Okay, here's the overhead cam and these are the two bits that I need to get rid of. See them there? Those two. Well, I say these are the two bits that I need to get rid of. I think I need to get rid of them. For now, they're in the way. So anything that's in the way, I'm just going to get rid of. Um, they, they're two supports that screw together with the bottom plate. Um, I think it's not going to be that much of an issue to remove them um, because I'm planning on screwing the bottom plate into the wood that's going to be essentially the, the wooden body of the guitar which I think is going to be this piece of sapili going to go in there but the first job I want to do is take them out so let's do it so I've got my little rotary tool here sorry about the noise um, it's got a plastic cutting disc on it, so it should make short work, but here we go. I'm going to have to apologise to any uh, collectors of original Star Wars toys because they're probably going to hate me for this. But it's going to be a cool guitar at the end, so maybe they'll love me for it. I don't know. But um, okay, so they're cut off. I'm just going to clean them up with a file and then I'll start kind of seeing where that allows me to uh, put the piece of wood. Okay? Alright, so. They are cut off and filed. There. Still going to fit together absolutely fine, you know. No problems there. But I want the wood to kind of come out just through here, just underneath. Now that's too narrow, so I've got a feeling I am going to be cutting these sections off. But you won't see it because it's going to be hidden by wood and neck. So I think it'll be okay. But for now, let's just have a look. So if that went in there somewhere, I don't know exactly where, how close are we to being able to fasten this up? So, yeah, I think I am going to have to cut off. So, you know, that's kind of how far off it is. And I don't want to trim the wood to fit because I need a bit of meat there to put the neck on. So I'm going to have a look and I'm going to mark out what bits of the front of this original 1979 Millennium Falcon I need to cut off. So I'll do that off camera because all you're going to see basically is my head like this. And you don't need to look at that. So I'll come back in a few seconds and it'll be marked out. Okay, so... It would appear that if I just follow these lines here, 
with my bandsaw and cut it off on both of them I will have something that the wood can slip into and the neck can sit into but do I want to do it with a bandsaw that's the thing or do I want to do it by hand I think the bandsaw why not let's have a go so they're going to break it isn't it I'm sure we can uh, we can sort it out okay here's where I am right now so I've just cut on the bandsaw right up to this lip here okay the whole the whole workshop smells of molten plastic now um, but not bad I've got to file it and clean it up well that's not bad because the wood is going to hide any of that the neck's going to sit in there But that's not bad so I'm gonna file that and uh, do a fitment okay so I've been cutting bits off been cut, sort of trimming the wood and sanding it and I've I've cut that off there um, I've got this the right shape at the end I've got a center line which is very important because in guitar making center line is God um, and I've got this flat now that's flat in there see that that's flat in there so I think that's where that needs to be so I'm happy with that so I'll start putting it back together so it will I think by the end of this episode it's going to be a Millennium Falcon with a piece of wood up the middle which is pretty good not far to go okay so it doesn't quite fit together not yet I put this in where it needs to be so it won't fit together and that is because in there is that piece of plastic that piece there so I need to cut that off and I think once I cut that off it's going to lie flat and it give me a much better idea of how I'm going to put the neck on I'm going to cut that piece out. That piece, flush. Let's do this. off need to clean it up now and then we'll see if it fits all right after much cutting and filing the wood fits perfectly and I have filed and cut those they will be neatened up before painting but this is just to fit but it fits if I look inside everything clips together and it will screw so that's pretty good that just means I can put my neck on there this neck on there like that which is great happy with that took a little bit of finessing to get it in there but that will be in now I just need to figure out how I'm going to keep that wood in there probably screws I should think and I'm going to have to build up around this area here with some wood inside probably glued and screwed from the underneath um, because that's where the bridge will go the bridge is one of these a scalar bridge so you're going to go there 
so I need wood under there to support that bridge um, and a little bit further along so it's kind of going to be wedge shaped so it goes to nothing here and there's probably about 40 millimeters of gap here so if I cut a wedge that's kind of flat and then goes to nothing here from 40 mil glue it and screw it that will be the body then I just need to figure out where the pickups go in get my height so my action is okay work out the wiring and then that's kind of the guitar side of it done the rest will be painting and weathering so I'm happy with that it's pretty good so I'm going to end this episode here see you next time